Okay, let's uh, start working on these fins now. Just to remember, this is what we're shooting for, this kind of effect on these fins. And uh, I don't think we'll add color till later. So, what we want to do is, first of all, come over to our Layers Palette and lock down our fish layer so we don't mess it up. Make a new layer and let's call this, um, let's call it rays, R-A-Y-S, rays, why not? They look like rays. Okay, now, so our mission in life is to create like some kind of uh, organic shape similar to this up here. So P for pen tool. Let's just do it just like I did in the previous video. Um, remember we can edit stuff and figure out how the pieces and parts go together. So I'm going to go click, let go, click, let go, hold down the command key, deselect. So I got this one straight line. What I want is a blend, you know, to go from long to short and I want it to be along the body. So like the line of the body is like here, right? And I can turn on my, uh, reference here, which I should have done. And let's take a look at the, the photo. I'm looking at this photo. I can see that the uh, the rays of this guy like go like this. And it looks like the last one pretty much originates right here and goes this way. Again, this is, does not have to be, you know, uh, anatomically correct or whatever. Um, so I'm going to make another line there. Hold down the shift key, deselect. And so here's what I got. All right. Let me select both of these. And how much, how many steps should it be? I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along. Object, blend, make. I had it set to 12, um, like I did in the previous video. And this is looking pretty good. So let me put on the image again. And lo and behold, um, it's working out very well. The, the beginnings of the rays are following the body of the fish. Let me turn this off again. Alrighty. So just like we did before, let's add some nice curvature to these and uh, edit them. So let's grab the direct select tool so we can see the anchors. Okay. Shift C. Whoops, what the heck happened? Hit the wrong button. I'm sorry. Shift C so I get the um, anchor point tool. Let me put a nice curve on this. Okay, like I'm going to fix this. I don't want it to go past the fin. Let me put a nice curve on this one. So that's looking better. There's lots of things we can do here. Let me hold down the command key and go back to the direct selection tool. I'm just holding down the command key while I'm doing this. I'm going to grab the anchor point and pull it out a little more. Grab this anchor point, pull this out this way. So now everything is like inside the fin area. Okay. Um, let's see. You, you could make two blends. You could put one here to here and here to here, but I'm not going to do that. Make sure now let's add a stroke to it. Let's make sure everything is selected. <clears throat> add the three point calligraphic stroke. See how that works. Oh, I'm sorry, I hit the wrong one. Three point flat calligraphic stroke. Now that's now we're cooking here. That that's looking pretty cool. Um maybe you want to increase the width a little bit. So B for brush tool. I'm gonna increase the width by hitting the bracket key. Hold down the command key to get the selection tool back up so I can deselect. Not bad. Uh, in a perfect universe, I would prefer that these guys came out farther. So what I could do is have like two blends in a row, which I'm not going to do that for this exercise. This is fine. Okay. So I'm going to let you guys figure out this and this on your own. But I will help you out here with the uh, tail because we got two. We got a angle that, or a curve that goes this way and a curve that goes that way. So we got to let's let's use two different blends. P for pen tool. Click let go. Click let go. 
hold down the command key, deselect, put a, um, we're going to put a, a line in the middle here, click, let go, click, let go. We're going to blend these guys together. So I'm going to hold down the command key, deselect, make sure both of them are selected. I always use the black arrow to select both just to make sure object blend make you can see that the keyboard shortcut is option or alt command b so be for mac users option command b for uh, pc folks uh, alt control b okay so let me do option command b and there's my blend it looks nice I hit the white arrow so I can edit this guy. That's way, way too many. Um, rays in there for this. So I'm going to go to Object, Blend, Blend Options. I'm going to kick it down to, I think, six would be enough, maybe, which looks good. Shift C to get the uh, anchor point tool. And I'm going to put some nice organic curvature in this and the reason why I do the uh, do it straight lines first is just like I showed you in the previous video sometimes the blend operation will screw it will mess up the lines and, and interpret them kind of weird okay so everything is selected I'm going to use my three-point calligraphic again and that looks nice that there might be yeah yeah yeah, that looks okay. Um, let's see if we can finish the tail. P for pen tool. Oops. Okay. You know the drill. Select him, select that one. If you're on the PC, Alt, Control, B, on the Mac, Option, Command, B, got our blend, the, I enabled the white arrow so I can see the anchor points, Shift, C, give yourself a nice organic curve there, make sure both are selected. Add your calligraphic stroke. Let me move this down here so we can see it. Three point flat. That looks a little thin. The, the, the strokes will, depending on the angles of the strokes, they change. Later on, I can show you, you can edit this, the, how these strokes behave depending on the angle later. I, I'm not going to do that for this. I'm going to increase the stroke width of these guys. So I have to hit B for brush tool and use the bracket keys and that last one boy is that ugly see it's fall this one last one's going off the fin and it, off the tail and it just looks terrible so let me just select all of them and just like let me squish them all up in there not working choose the path again B for brush tool Going to decrease the size of these. The problem I have here is this is not following the contour of the tail very well. I got to I got to edit this anchor point. It's kind of cool that uh, I'm making mistakes on this, so you can see how to fix them. And making mistakes is something I do a whole lot of. So. <laughs> So there's going to be a lot of teaching moments with George making mistakes in this semester, believe me. Um, okay, so that's okay. It's not great, but it's one. It, it's you know good enough. So what I'm going to let you guys hack your way through these two fins. Also remember, you're going to put some fins here. In fact, let me do that right now. So P for pen tool. Let's be daring and let's try um, to go with the curves right off the bat here. So I made a curve there. 
I made a curve there. Since everything seems to be working pretty good. Option Command B, made my blend. Handy dandy little calligraphic. That looks cool. Deselect. Let me turn off the image, the photo image. So that's what I got. Um, this looks good. This looks good. The tail looks funky. Uh, I might maybe increase the stroke there a little bit. Uh, I'm not really happy with the tail. It, it looks. I, I like my f my first one better. The way this came out. I could spend some time editing this. Uh, I'm not going to. This weirdness here is going to be covered up by a piece of uh, a black shape, so don't worry about that. So that's what we got. Finish these fins, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.